Hello. A couple days ago I received uh, these two development boards. This is TTGO T5 A Ink Display Development Board made by a LilyGo company. Uh, same company that produce this uh, TTGO T display or this TTGO T watch or this interesting uh, TT, TTV board. Uh, all of these boards uh, have ESP32 chip inside so they are pretty easy to program uh, but when I received this product I had hard time to make it run. So in this video I will show you easy and fast way to set up this board in Arduino IDE and I will also show how to use some examples. But first uh, let's talk about this interesting board. Uh, what is a ink display? A ink uh, e ink display is a newer type of displays. Originally it's made for uh, devices that are used for uh, reading digital books. Uh, small versions like this one are interesting uh, to developers because a low power consumption. Uh, best thing about these displays is uh, when device is turned off, display will hold the last image that was on display. Uh, so with uh, this board you can make many project that uh, will run on battery for long period of time. Uh, this display don't have background light but on daytime it is perfectly visible from any angle and it looks great. These displays are easy to look at. Uh, this is my second a ink development board. First was this uh, development system made by the M5 stack. Uh, this is great product with many stuff built in like real-time clock, temperature sensor, TF card, slot. But this uh, this thing cost near 100 American dollars. So it is pretty expensive for most of people. But uh, right now you can get this board very cheap on Banggood. There is big discount uh, right now, uh, but even without discount, this price is great for uh, this kind of display development board. A link is in the description, so feel free to check it. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this board is ESP32 based, so it can be connected to Wi Fi or Bluetooth. With uh, this board, you will get uh, these pins, this connector for battery, so you can power it with uh, 3.7 volts battery like this one if you want. Also on board there is also integrated a circuit used for battery charging. So your battery will charge when you connect USB cable to it. Here is also slot for SD card. Nice feature if you want to show images from memory card. Um, reset button and here is one programmable push button. On off switch which is also nice addition. Here is connector for external antenna. And that is prob probably it. Uh, okay, let's see how to set up this board. Problem with these boards is that they can uh, have different versions of panels. Version of panel is written here. You can check my version in the um, uh, description of video. So old libraries will not work with newer panels. Uh, but here is a library that works great with all panels. GXEPD2 library. So let's install it. First uh, we need to install this library. You can find link in the description. Installa installation is simple. You ne will need to download zip 
file, extract it and copy it to your library folder. Same procedure like any other library. Now I can open Arduino IDE and find GXEPD2 example. And in this header file GXAPD2 display selection, we can see many constructor. We will need to uncomment right one. First ones are for node MCU. We will try to find constructors that are made for ESP32. Here they are. And we un we will uncomment this one. Make sure so this one with uh, which will finish with seventy three. Now I can upload, and after quite a time first compiling is always always the longest. After some time. Uh, sketch will be uploaded to the board. Uh, these uh, displays are not fastest. It took a uh, couple seconds to refresh displays. So you will not make game with this, but um, they are really useful and power consumption is very low. That's it. I hope you like this video. Feel free to subscribe and because there will be more videos with this cool board. Stay safe and have a nice day. Goodbye.